this show. There's, there's no point in me telling you about stuff. There is. It's comedy you see, gold. When you, when you were out of school, did you keep arguing with the teacher saying you're talking rubbish there? Teachers didn't teach us about werewolf boys and ghosts. Mm. They taught us maths. God. Right. Tell a story about the man I'll cover. Right. In the same magazine as, uh, as the one with the with the cat and the fire and that. Don't tell me that story again, it gives me the shit. Yeah, a cat that's <laughs> got a weird expression on its face yeah. is well, against it, God. Anyway, this isn't a scary story, this was just, uh, like physics. Explained. Physics. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it right. was going on about the, uh, nuclear bomb and uh, how powerful it is. And, uh, <laughs> they put, they put a manhole cover on top of one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Blew it up. Yeah. <laughs> Never saw the manhole cover again. <laughs> <laughs> Man alive, Carl. <laughs> I'll explain What's that. going on there? Something weird is happening there! <laughs> oh! If anyone has ever seen that metal cover, <laughs> yeah, uh, please yeah. get in touch. We'd love to know where it is. Oh, that's fantastic. What sort of experiment is that? I imagine all these scientists on multi billion pound research budgets, they're going, we test everything. What would you do to man or cover? Don't know. That's like letting a couple of students. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Have yeah. Of a do you reckon you can send a traffic cone, cone yeah. into orbit? Go on then, put it on there. <laughs> I love that. I imagine that. What? Uh, what, of what value is that? <laughs> and what, so what we could do, we could let the, put the manhole cover on it and aim it and then blow the bomb up and it would, <laughs> it would, the manhole cover would have someone's eye out! <laughs> fire it! See if you can fire manhole covers <laughs> off the nuclear bomb, whatever. <laughs> Toy bangers to a bomb, see if it's louder. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. Okay, listen, Carl, play another track and then afterwards, can we probe your views on the, the week's news? If you want. We'll do a bit of a white van Carl session. Today. Today. Today week. is the greatest, because yeah. we're back. That's true enough. All right. I hope people, uh, Rick, were listening to that loud, uh, in this lovely summer's day. Or, or I mean, I'll call, no, not too loud. Well, don't, 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 don't annoy ears. people that, yeah. yeah um, yeah. White Rick Van, Van Carl. Yeah, White Van Carl. I mean, uh, for those that don't know, we do this, uh, We ask week. Carl the questions that the Sun asks someone else. That's right, the Sun every day asks, um, some, you know, average Joe, his views on the week's big stories. Mm. Carl, let me ask you now, um, what do you make of Prince Harry smoking openly at a polo club? Um, Are you aware of this story? No. Was it? Go on. Prince Harry, you know that he's one of the royals. Yeah. And he was seen smoking openly, openly, a fag, a cigarette. Uh, a polo third, third in line to the throne. Something like that, yeah. Imagine that. Someone hey? smoking a cigarette was third in line to the throne. A cigarette, Carl. Is it a non-smoking polo club? Do you know, I don't know, but, uh, but if it were... Would that make things even worse for you? Well, no, yes. seriously, what, what do you make of it? This is, this is, you know, the whole, you know, the, the furore is, he's a role model, you know, he's a royal, should he be seen puffing away in a public place? I don't think it matters, does it? Not a concern for you? How old is he? Is he old enough to smoke? I think he probably is, yeah. Right, yeah. Well, yeah. I, I think the trouble with, um, this role model thing, with anything that's legal, it should either be illegal or not. Yes. I just don't think you can impose things like that, right? yeah. uh, because you could say that it is bad for you and it is bad to start smoking and it really is bad for you, you know, it causes cancer and everything. But everyone knows so that, don't they? We? Well, yeah, but you should either make it illegal or shut up about it. Sorry, this is Carl you're asking, isn't I it? I am indeed. So, sorry, so yeah. we can throw these questions your <laughs> way as well if you fancy. <laughs> sorry, yeah. It <laughs> doesn't so, matter. But Carl, what are your views generally? I mean, it's obviously cigarettes are uh, perfectly legal and so on, but what about stronger narcotics? Because I know you're very scared of drugs and stuff, aren't you? You're no, real... I I'm not a fan. I don't no, know. what's your concern? What's your worry? Just yeah. that you might get into them. Sure. It's like you might have them and go, oh, this is all right. Yeah. Exactly, Carl. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, Although I was talking to you about it earlier and you weren't that, <laughs> you weren't very sympathetic about a lot of young people who, who have perhaps gone to crack or smack. You, you, didn't you describe it as their own fault? Sometimes it is, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I could have turned to it where <laughs> I grew up, but I said, well, don't want to do that, it's not good for you. Sure. And I avoided it. You turned to ghosts. So you've so got no sympathy for anyone who's, who's a drug addict? It's their own fault, is your- It depends, your doesn't it? Sure. Do you know what I mean? You can be an addict if, I don't know, something, I'm trying to think of a nice way that well, you might- Well, most people start on stuff like that because something really traumatic happened to them. Very few people go out for a laugh yeah. one night and, and, and go, let's all try it. Sure. So, uh, you know, but- yeah. Just say know. no, I suppose is the, uh, the, Just the say attitude no. in the Listen end. to the, uh, cast of Grange Hill. Now, this will scare you. Now, this, Carl, you will be a little bit unnerved about this. Have you seen the film Jurassic Park? Yeah. You know what happened there? Well, according yeah. to the sign here, it says scientists are planning to clone mammoths for a theme park. Look at his face, look at that, he looks like a dog caught in the, the headlights of a car, he's terrified. I love Carl. He sprung to attention Carl. there. I love Carl. that's, is that, is that the best news you could have? Man moths. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> right. Yeah, man Girl, moths. I man love moths. the fact that that's why he was so excited that they bred a man moth. What is, what is this? Yeah, it's, it's a human being that, that hides in your wardrobe and eats an entire jacket in a day. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean, man moths? Mammoths! Mammoth! The big hairy cow the from the Ice Age. I mean, right. elephant. You're not so excited yeah. about that, then? <laughs> you can take or leave bringing back mammoths to life, but a man moth... A man moth is a different matter. <laughs> oh. <laughs> if we'd- if we'd have never brought that up, he'd have gone and told someone now, yeah. you know, they've bred an half man, half moth. This and is that's what how, we this mean. how things start. This you is what we mean when you, you hear these ghost stories. Are you slightly deaf? Is that it? When you hear these stories, you're slightly deaf. And his head- and his head was in the basket, and he went, count how many times I blink. Is it- I- is- Carl, Carl, is English your first language? <laughs> Are you actually foreign? Is that yeah, the thing? Yeah, yeah. Do- should well, we speak slower? When we say foreign, we, we mean not of this planet. Yeah. Should we speak slower? Would that be a help to you? No, I'd go, go on. Next what do you one. make of that? Do you think that's good? Do we do have to bring back, back prehistoric elements? These giant elephants. They're, they're slow, aren't they? It's not as if they're gonna, like, get out and run fast and they can't capture them. They'll probably be like a fence, to be honest, Carl. They'll probably be a fence. No, but I'm sa- but they're- but you're asking it as if, like, oh, it could all go wrong, but it couldn't, could it? Well, really? but, but, but the point was about uh, Jurassic Park is they thought it wouldn't go wrong. They thought it had it all under yeah, control. Well, have you learned nothing from uh, Jurassic Park, Carl? Dinosaurs would say, oh, f- think about it before you do it. But <laughs> with a, with a airy elephant, it's, it's not gonna... It's not a concern for you. Would I'll you go along to see him? Would you be interested in that? If it was in the area. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he's great, isn't he? I'd love, I'd love a cue, Nothing right? impresses No, him. but what I'd like to do is Carl sitting like Yoda in a little cave, and I'd just like to see people like Tony Blair and, you know, Stephen Hawking's in a queue, and they go and say, Carl, got a bit of a problem. Um, yeah, and thinking it, of cloning a man and a moth. Yeah. Problem? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, not an issue. No, if I'm in the area, I might cruise around <laughs> and have a look at it. Otherwise, just don't send it near my, uh, my um, clothes. Oh, that's fantastic. So, so it's just for a second, what, what, as, the, as the words man, moth, came into your head. W- how excited were you? I mean, were you both terrified and excited? For- just for the moment when you thought that they'd cloned a man and a moth. I pictured, um... What kind of face I'll, did he have? Was, did he have the moth's head or was it a man's head? Just a little head. Little man head. Right, what- what was his face? <laughs> what did it look like? Just- he just was like a bit like- A, a bit, bit shocked. perplexed, yeah. <laughs> um... Yeah, it, like, so it was like he'd been- he'd been- he'd been grafted onto the body of a moth yeah. without his- his consent. And when he was asleep. Was yeah, he'd woken up. He just- he just went in for to have a goiter removed yeah. and they said, we've he replaced your with goiter wings. with the body of a giant moth. Yeah. Just- Is that alright, Mr. Jenkins? Mm, so he had the head of a, a little- was it a little boy or a man? Little man. Right, okay. And he's just bumping into a lamp. <laughs> just bumping into a lamp. <laughs> if you- Carl, if you- if you uh, went into hospital, uh, and they'd done something. Uh, what, what's the worst thing they could do, right? What would you rather have done, do you, right? You wake up and you've got, um, lobster claws for hands. Right. You wake up and you've got duck's feet. Uh, or you wake up and you've got one horn coming out of your head. The worst thing. Yeah. Probably the, uh, <laughs> the horn coming out of my head. Why? Get in the way. <laughs> That'd be useful, wouldn't it, in fights and stuff. And, uh, for, like, parties, people would play well, the lobster claws would also be quite handy there. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. That level, Mark's Little Club, spread your love. You enjoying it so far? Um, yeah, I suppose so. First show back? Yeah, it's not bad. It's great to be I'm back. I'm just thinking about that money, to be honest. It's I know, still playing on my must, mind. I know, yeah. Could we maybe get, like, a sort of telethon type thing going, or a little charity? Thing, just sort of help me pay You me. can't really ask people to send you money, really? it's technically begging. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Unless you're a reg- are, you, are, are you a registered charity? <laughs> um, I suppose not, not really. We could probably get you status. Yeah. But could I promise, I mean, could I pretend to give them something in return? I mean, am I allowed to sell things on the radio? Yeah, you are. Yeah. yeah so although you probably, you probably get in trouble with uh, the authority if you're, you're using it to sort of like, to your own, okay, not like everyone else doesn't. No, exactly. Yeah. Free lunches and yeah. sponsorship and yeah, God knows yeah, what, yeah. you know what I mean? The, yeah. Put the people that work here, small fry, the yeah. scum. Exactly, the nobodies, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, 165 quid is pretty, it's quite a lot of money, so I mean, if you want to contribute anything, Rick, as I said before, you're more than welcome to. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I, I would if, it, if I felt any responsibility. Right. Or, yeah, or, or cared. Sure, sure, sure. Um, but, uh, yeah, I got there too early, which is annoying. <laughs> um, what we should have done, really, was, uh, get you your plane and come back, cos I'd have had time. Do you know, I, I was gonna mention <laughs> it at the time, but I didn't want to, cos I knew the answer would be no. So <laughs> <not>. <laughs> um, oh, Carl. Oh, I, 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 really, I've had a great time. I've forgotten, I've forgotten how good it was just to have a normal con- I say normal, just to have a conversation with you. 
Have you been looking forward to this? You're, he's really down today, isn't he? He's down, man, isn't he? Just a bit tired. But it's interesting because I said to him, I said to him, "Did you enjoy Edinburgh?" He spent this, the week up in Edinburgh, yeah. obviously, and uh, he said, "Yeah, well, loved him. He loved it up there. He's been mm. partying every night, and he actually enjoyed it." And I've never, I've never met him when he's actually enjoyed anything before. He's never enjoyed anything, as far as I know. And I'm impressed that round. we weren't involved. His, pa his, his paper round. He loved the paper round, and this Best. is the first time. Yeah, he was talking about that the other day as well. But I said, to him, I've, that's what he really thinks that, that paper round he had when he was fourteen was the best job." He never had. Yeah, he still yeah. thinks the best job because he was own. He said he was his own boss. Well, no, you weren't. <laughs> yeah. He went. Well, I can get on my bike and think. And he said, "I bet if I phoned those people who I delivered the papers to, they'd say it was the best delivery they've ever had." He said, "In fact, I bet a lot of them have chucked in the delivery because it went downhill." This is all. Yeah, sort, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. thinking this as yeah. he went along. Yeah. Didn't you? Yeah. Imagine phoning someone up and saying, "You don't remember me, but I used to deliver your paper ten years ago. Was it the best delivery service <laughs> you've ever had?" No, but if <laughs> I said I delivered it ten years ago. Um, you used to, if you got up at like six in the morning, it was there for you. Yeah. There's no other paper boy who could guarantee that they'd have that paper when they got Carl, out if of you bed. could earn enough money, would you do a paper round again? If you, if that was your job, but we, you were being paid enough to make a living from it, would, would that, is that something you think about? Uh, do you think you'd enjoy it as much nowadays? Yeah, I reckon I would, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, listen to some music. Sure. Uh, a thousand pound a week, would you do the best yeah, at- Yeah, yeah. Would you really? Yeah. I is there anyone- out there, who is willing to test that? So anyone who's willing to pay Carl, right, a, grand. a sum of a grand, yeah. to take a week off work and deliver papers, just for that week. All day though, it's all day. No, 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 no. I'll what? get up and the the customers will have their paper. Yeah, but can I tell you what street it is? No, because uh, no, no, it's the M25. <laughs> See, you are being paid a thousand pounds. Yes, that may ask for you. Got to deliver the M25. I'll tell you what. Let's 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 take the mood down a little bit and play one of the most beautiful songs I've been looking forward to getting. Otherwise, just to play this. To be honest, it's Jimmy Webb's uh, version of Galveston. Galveston, there by the brilliant Jimmy Webb. Uh huh. Who wrote it? Who wrote it? He wrote it. Yes. I mean, yeah. 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 Brilliant Jimmy Webb. Who wrote it? Yeah. It was all one sentence. Yes. Did I confuse you? Again, yeah. With my speech patterns. It's just just using the English language is always helpful. Really. But compared to Carl, I'm I'm Oscar Wilde. Aren't <laughs> I, I suppose so. <laughs> Electric soft parade on XFM 104.9. Not long to go on our uh, on our a triumphant return. I think. Uh, oh, I think the papers would be saying, Steve. Yes. Yes. Um, Carl. Um, I, I met Carl a couple of times in our. Our, our sabbatical, and uh, he uh, said to me once, he said, um, oysters. I said, have you ever tried oysters? I, said, oh, I, I don't like them. And I went, uh, he said, oh, it's just, just a thing about swallowing them whole, you know. He went, well, the reason you have to do that is just they're, they're fatally poisonous. <laughs> and if you bite into them, they kill you. And I went, well, of course they don't. He went, yeah. I went, well, of, co of course they wouldn't. <laughs> what have you chewed on? I said, he said, no. I said, well, so you swallow them whole and they're not poisonous. He went, yeah, ah, see. He said, so, he said, when you swallow heroin in a, in a Johnny, he says, that doesn't kill you, does it? <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Oh. And then, uh, <laughs> about a week later, he went, I was wrong about them. <laughs> you were yeah, I went, well, he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And what did you say? It's if you eat them and then you have some whiskey. <laughs> They they turn deadly when when whiskey comes into contact with them. Yeah, when when uh, when they've had a drink, <laughs> when they've had a drink, they get a bit rowdy in your stomach. They right. start fighting. They can yeah, cause hilarious. So, 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 so what are you saying now? Are you saying you don't believe that? Am I saying what? Are you saying you don't believe? Look, that? He thinks he's got us here. He thinks he's got us here. Yeah, I don't believe that if you eat an oyster, then drink some whiskey, you die. You might not die straight away, but. You won't Eventually, feel. fifty years time. If you've got, you've got to keep on drinking whiskey. Uh, yeah, 50, a bottle a day. Fifty or sixty years later, he was dead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oyster and a bottle of whiskey a day. <laughs> oh, then out of nowhere, forty years well, later. Where does this information come from, Carl? If, if some doctor called up now, yeah, and put you right, would you believe him? If it wasn't Doctor Fox, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about the airy, airy lads growing up with the werewolves and that? They didn't grow up they with didn't werewolves. werewolves. Grow up with werewolves. You're confused they're about three just different Just a genetic stories, mutation where, the, you know, they were born with a uh, very, very hirsute. There were a couple of kids, yes, we know. They didn't grow up with wolves and you can't kill them with a silver bullet. I mean, you're confusing two things. There were you? some kids who were very, very hairy, yes. Yeah. They're in folklore. There were some kids who grew up with wolves, yes. I don't think the two are connected. Yeah. Yeah. There's no such thing as werewolves, Carl. You, you believe me. I saw a documentary on it on the History Channel. You'd have loved it. You, you, you grew the up with a magpie. Werewolves. You know, you don't flap around, do you, and steal people's jewellery? Uh, what was the thing you told me about snails? Uh, have you ever had any um, 
Any post that- that looks like it's been opened? Occasionally, yeah. Yeah. Alright. Well, what it is, it's not your postman having a- A sneaky look. A sneaky look. Problem is- Right. Uh, slugs. <laughs> <laughs> the problem's slugs. Slugs. <laughs> at night, they like nipping about and that, and it gets a bit cold. And in London, like in the country, they go into the grass, don't they? Right. But in London, it's like, oh, what can we do? <laughs> and um, they go in letterboxes. <laughs> right? Slugs go in letterboxes. Get in letter letterboxes. It's nice and warm in there, uh, dry and what have you. And um, <laughs> these are homeless slugs, aren't they? The ones that lost their shell. When they're in there, they only found out that they love glue. <laughs> they and love they've, glue. They've been eating uh, eating the glue off the stamps. Right. And, um, <laughs> people have been getting charged for posts because it hasn't had stamps on it. It's like, well, I put a stamp on it. Yeah. It's like it's, slugs have been eating it. <laughs> sure. And they also eat the glue that's on the actual envelope shutter. And it's a real popular problem, this, that, uh, <laughs> letters are being lost and opened and all that stuff. Yeah. Slugs. I like, are slugs like stealing postal orders and things and cashing them in and stuff? Yeah, again, you know, if there's a doctor, if there's a postman. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, well, with us two expert witnesses, a doctor <laughs> and a postman. So, uh, so postage is a real problem. Um, so uh, it's, when we see, when we see uh, a slug's trail, or a snail's trail- It's glue. That's the glue they've stolen, is it? That's, they've just, that's a little- I'm we, not, I'm not gonna say yes to that, that cause I'm not follow, sure. But we could follow that trail and, and find the, them, and they'd have a big sort of- <laughs> Big bar uh, letters. Uh, yeah, our stamps and- Yeah, <laughs> there they are. Like, birthday cards for our aunts and Yeah, stuff. but a two pound notes. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Wow. Slugs. Wow. So, oysters and whiskey kill ya, and slugs. Be very careful. Your if you're gonna go out this evening, you're thinking of having a whiskey, maybe some oysters, be very, very careful. Yeah, and if you, are gonna, if you are gonna post a letter, please, please do please, not use please. tasty glue. <laughs> Back to form there. Oasis. And little by little. This is XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais. Who are you? Uh, my name's Steve Merchant. Good to see you. Thanks. Uh, with us, uh, the producer in the studio is a Carl Pilton, and he'll be doing the buttons. <laughs> yeah. You made a good effort there, but, uh, <laughs> once again, <laughs> got bored. <laughs> Words to your enemy, <laughs> and they defeated you once again. <laughs> Yes, run out of steam oh, with the sentences. Every week I think, well, I'm really gonna make an yeah. effort now. I'm gonna, I've, I've chosen some records. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's as far as yeah. it goes, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Maybe you should write out what you're gonna say at the top of the show. <laughs> <laughs> write that out. Get a nice no, big that would crayon. Be, I like to keep a little bit of, you know. A little bit of something, a little bit of spark, yeah. a little bit of liveliness to it. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure, yeah. sure, sure, sure. How yeah. are you? Good to, good to good. see you. Yeah, it's great. It's great to, uh, <laughs> it's uh, great to be out, bit. <laughs> out of the house yeah. again. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, just, um, I was gonna say, because we've been doing this, uh, for a long time now with a little break, um, but XFM are bringing new listeners all the time. I've heard four or five a week. Really? Yeah. New wow, listeners tune in alive. to XFM 104.9. Radio 4. 1, 9. beware. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, we might take it for granted the people that know who we are, know who you are, know who Carl is. Sure. Um, Oh, now, no, if, if, if you, you know, if you're a regular, then you know exactly who we are. But, um, for those of you who don't, uh, I say, I'm, I'm Ricky Gervais. Ricky Gervais, a BAFTA award winning actor and, yeah, uh, yeah. and writer. Steve Merchant, um, all, all those. A friend of yours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And this is the important thing Carl Pilkington. Absolutely. Our, um, produ I say producer, he was the bloke who was lumbered with a job. When I said, listen, I said, I used to run the desk in the old days. When I, was like, I used to press the buttons and run the desk and everything. And now I said, listen, I've been on the telly. I do not press my own buttons. And Carl said, well, I don't really work weekends. And they went, well, you do if you want to keep your job. Absolutely. And we were lumbered with him. And then we discovered that he's not just a, a little, like a little dork, a little manky sort of idiot. Sure, he's sure. got, he's got nice shirt. He's got, you know what I mean? He's got something else. Absolutely. He's got a certain, another dimension, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, he, he started having a little chat and we discovered that he had him. quite a lot to say. Mm. Well, I, I think you're absolutely right, and I think, um, I was wondering, maybe we, we should maybe play another tune, but after that, I just think we should re-familiarise our radio audience with yeah. Carl, and any new listeners, just get, let, you know, somehow kind of let them get to know the real Carl again. Well, if you are new, you'll, you'll find that we like some uh, old songs, some new songs, some mm -hmm. chit chat uh, we get serious sometimes, there's oh, some yeah. tears and some laughter. Yeah. We kicked off with Oasis new one, little by little, we're gonna go <laughs> back in time now to Iggy Pop and his stooges with I'm Bored. Iggy Pop on board on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais. Steve Merchant here as well. Yeah, you? little Carl Pilkington. Mm. Well, w to reintroduce or introduce people for the first time to Carl, um, I think we should have a. Yeah, a maybe sort of a kind of a quick QA, Carl, and we don't need sort of lengthy answers from you. We don't need lots of detail. Um, right. You know, can we uh, just a couple of sentences? Just to get to a answer each question. Who you are. Yeah, so right. firstly, uh, name obviously Carl Pilkington. Age, Carl? Uh, I'll be, uh, I'll be 30 next month. 
Really? This month. No, next. What, where are we? <laughs> <laughs> I don't I, think we need to ask I any more questions. I think we've done it. That's I it. I think we've Welcome done it. Welcome to the world of Carl Pilkington. <laughs> yeah, I think that. Oh, I thought it would take three or four I questions. I thought it was going to be at least. To really yeah. explain that was, that what was the Carl first was question. About. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, Absolutely God. Incredible. But, well, um, but you oh. know, like, we can't really leave it there because, um, no. because we, uh, we haven't uh, got enough else to do to fill yeah. up the two hours. So, um, no. let's, let's pursue this line of inquiry. Yeah. Uh, so, um, age, what was the age, Carl, in a couple well, of months? When were you born? I'll be, uh, 72. Right, what month, what day? I'm on the cusp. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the cusp of a day? Well. Um, 23rd of September. Okay. 72. <laughs> so, anyway. Okay, right, good. And uh, you were talking there about, um, obviously a star sign where you're on the cusp. Yeah. You believe in that, do you? No. Nope. You don't believe in star signs? No, not really. But you do believe in ghosts, I understand. No, because it's the paranormal. star sign- Yeah, but the star Ten. sign thing, you've got how many, how many different star signs are they? Twelve, innit? Right, and then you've got, like, loads of people. Yeah. So you, you do the math. So they're saying <laughs> that, you know, there's only twelve different sorts of people in the world. Exactly. That's yes. exactly right. It's- it's made up. It's made up nonsense. It's non-science. It's pseudoscience. It's- yes. It's- 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 it's, it's hairy man and, um, dyed hair woman science. Yes. Mm. Isn't it? All right. Yeah. Anyway, back to, uh, you, Carl. Where were you born? In, uh, in Manchester. Okay. What, uh, GCSE results did you get? <coughs> I got, uh, was it an E? I got an E you in history. You got an E in history. And how, how did, did you, you find out that, that information? You found out. Cause you thought you you didn't- you couldn't remember what you got, you didn't turn up and you thought you'd done about three. One of which uh, wasn't history, and I actually- knew, I knew I did art. Yeah, you didn't. I'm telling you, you didn't, because we checked. Yeah. You did one. You turned up for history, you did history, you got an no, E in I history. I definitely did art. I what? made a little clay man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to register for O-levels. You don't just do it and then phone up and say, how was that? Yeah. And I go, I'm sending you a clay man. <laughs> <what you think. laughs> yeah, Send me yeah. a grade. Yeah. There's all things- there's forms to fill out and yeah. things like that, Carl. Anyway, yeah. go anyway. on. Um, who was your closest childhood friend? Closest? At what age? Well, when you were young, when you were Oh, a I remember this. It's a fella. Um, so there's, is there's, it someone making, isn't there's, it? There's, well, he wasn't really a close mate. Darren Buckley was me. Darren Buckley? Yeah. He, he was my Tell us briefly mate. about Darren. I've forgotten about Darren. He's the one who, um, all the, all the girls liked him. He Did had, they? Uh, he had permed hair. He used to <laughs> have his hair like a footballer. <laughs> sure. Um. Yeah. Were you jealous of him? His dad was a copper. Did you hang around with Darren, like, in the hope of getting maybe his kind of cast-offs? Nah. I, I, it's, it's weird with me, and I, I, I wasn't that bothered about having loads of mates and that. I sort of, sure. I had lots of mates, but I could do without them. You had a magpie, yeah. didn't you? I was, happy, didn't I was happy playing with my magpie. Yeah, what on, happened to him? It, uh, flew away. Yeah. But yeah. I wasn't bothered, cos it was giving me grief towards the end, wasn't it? It was, <laughs> it was popping me, me grifter tyres and that. Yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> flying down, pecking me head. Sure. Now, you went to school with a number of different interesting people. Uh, some of whom two were of which, freaks. I understand, uh, had big heads and webbed toes. Is that right? Yet they were not related to each other and they weren't friends with each other. Why weren't they friends with each other? <laughs> because that'd be obvious. <laughs> <laughs> did they- did they wear shoes or did they walk around in their- <laughs> in their webbed uh, Were they good at feet? swimming? Were they good at swimming? Uh, I don't know. I don't think they ever- ever went swimming. Did they ever talk- did they, did they ever look over at each other and think, yeah, we but should hang out more. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, uh, yeah. something in the week as well, there was another cool. lad at school, had a pigeon chest. <laughs> he had a what? Can we come back to this? He had a pigeon I chest. I think we should play a record, Carl, cos we- I think we've hooked them now. Yeah. I think- I think- There's no one switching off now, Rick. No, play a record. Blair, Coffee and TV, Carl, uh, I said it's not the best Blair song when, when it was playing. You know, I'm not- I don't wanna diss it, but, you know, it's not the best one. I mean, that's- Absolutely that's not. fact. Sure. You know. Yeah. Carl went- like the video, though. A little milk carton. Yeah. Bit sad. It's tragic, isn't it? <laughs> he went, in the, this is all to himself. I'm not even joining in. And then he went, yeah, but it's all right at the end. He goes to heaven. He finds a little girl milk carton. Just lives out a little thing and is, is that like you on your paper round that little milk carton walking around like that? I imagine you. Oh, people don't know about it. If you just tuned in, Carl had a paper round. It's his favourite job ever. And he maintains it's the best job he's ever had. Isn't it, Carl? Wait. Go on. I don't know what's so weird about that. It's a paper round. Yeah, but. Look, look, forget it's not all the most that. fulfilling. Of look jobs. at look at the way it works, right? You you get it out of the way at the start of the day, so you got the rest of the day to yourself. Cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> just the same as signing on. Your own your own boss. You know. Same as signing on. Well, you're not your own boss. The guy, yeah. the news agent's your <laughs> boss. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you, you, that's you, great. You, you've proven me wrong there. Yeah, yeah that's great. Nah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, not really. Would that stand up in court? Well, you were found with the dagger. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Was I? <laughs> Could, wh when are we, uh, when are we playing the new game? Oh, Carl's got a new game. Carl's oh, very excited. Oh, just, just we were just, talking about something before. Yeah, the, well, the freaks used to go. You, you had uh, people with big heads, two web feet, didn't hang around each other. That would be too obvious. Um, you had a fellow with a pigeon chest. Mm. Yeah, what's the story with the pigeon chest? Don't know how it happened. <laughs> it was like it, it looked like somebody had sort of hit him on the back with a big hammer, <laughs> and it had come out at the front. Yeah, and I've never seen it since. Could that have been the answer? Well, why is why yeah, he had it? Why had it? Possibly, I suppose, in your neck of the woods. Yeah. Don't know, never asked him. It's just come back to haunt you, has it, the pigeon chest? No, it's just that, uh, you know, when you- when you mention about kids at school, I forgot all about him. Mm. He's talking about the kids with the web feet and the big heads. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I forgot about the little old, uh, the pigeon, chest, pigeon boy. Yeah, pigeon boy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, listen, I- I- are you- I I'm a big fan of that TV show, it's on digital TV, a lot of people won't have it, but, uh, Inside the Actors Studio with James yeah. Lipton. Yeah. And he's- he interviews lots of big Hollywood stars and he always asks them these same questions at the end. Can I just run a few of them past you? Go on. Okay. So, um, if you could do any other profession other than the one you do now, what profession would you do? Uh, uh, can you just change that to apart from a paper round? Apart from a paper round. Oh. If you do any other right. profession, Carl. Um, and it doesn't matter about, like... It doesn't matter if you've got the skills or anything, I in an ideal world, if you had the ability. Well, I, I think I'm about to buy somewhere, so I reckon something, you know, using, using tools and, like, doing a bit of plumbing and that. So, a plumber? Well, sort of an all-rounder. Right, right. A, a handyman. Handy a handyman. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah. you know, you don't get paid that much, but it's useful, isn't it? So- But you'd useful. get your own show, couldn't you, with Carol Smiley eventually? Well, well, all that, but the money that you don't make, you save by not having to pay someone else to do the chores, do right, you know I, mean? I, I don't know what that sentence meant. <laughs> right, right. No. A plumber, how much- how much is the average plumber on? The money you don't make, <laughs> you save, on not getting someone else to do it. <laughs> no, just think of that, no, look, break that sentence down. Are there any- Sorry, uh, Rick, sorry, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. people who live in glass cattle. houses. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, let's just go back to Lipton quickly, we've got a couple of to get through here. Sorry, so, right, um, your- 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 your favourite noise or sound? Uh Favourite sound or noise? Ooh. Is it me? No. It's not uh, me? Hang on a minute. It's not me! <laughs> Are you sure it's not me, Carl? I like, I like Elvis. Noise. Elvis. Uh, Elvis. In the, in the ghetto. The sound of Elvis. Uh, Elvis in the ghetto. Brilliant. Okay. Yeah. And your least favourite noise or sound? I, d I don't think it should really be records and music. Noises. Things that you hear uh, at home or whatever. Maybe like a sound of a- The least favourite noise. Least favourite. The sound of- Probably like uh, Sound of ghosts. Fire engines and that. <laughs> right. That's- that's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Except if your house was on fire, presumably. <laughs> I think it's a bit unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> you think uh, they're just doing it to wind people up? I live on like a busy street and it's happening all the time and it's- yeah. it is like, just sort of have a blast of it and people will hear it. You sure. don't have to keep it going. Yeah, sure. So, yeah, yeah. Sure. So that- that is, yeah, okay. pretty annoying. And, um, uh, if heaven exists, Carl, when you get to the pearly gates, what would you like God to say to you as he welcomes you into heaven? What would you like God to say to you? Uh, who asks these? What, what shows this? It's a programme where, um, celebrities are interviewed by a guy, uh, an American interviewer, and he always asks these questions at the very end. What would I say to God? What no, would you say what, to God what, what, when, if, if you believed in heaven, and if heaven exists, when you eventually go up to heaven and you're welcomed in through uh, the gates in by your God, what- in your stussy t-shirt and yeah. your- What do you want God to say to you as he welcomes you in? Say, uh, you alright? Uh, I don't know, just be- just be friendly. <laughs> uh, that's the reindeer section. Beautiful. Yeah, nice stuff. Um, it's a kind of Scottish supergroup, lots of different artists from, uh, Scottish Sebastian, bands. Ben Sebastian, Ben Sebastian. Is Arab it a singer Strat. from them? Uh, it may well be, yeah, on that particular track. There's different people, Mull Historical Society, Idlewild, Teenage Fan Club, different people from all those bands. Get together with a guy called, uh, Gary Lightbody from Snow Patrol and he, uh, writes And all tunes. that on XFM 104.9, Absolutely. Steve. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, let me just name that track. That track was Grand Parade from their current album, uh, Son of Evil Reindeer. Feeder. Come back around on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais. Uh, but who are you? <laughs> oh, thanks for asking, Rick. Steve Merchant. Uh, with us, Carl Pilberton. Well, Carl, um, now I know I shouldn't, uh, but I met Carl in the week again. I, I told you you shouldn't do I this. Know. You know, you should but then when the he weekend. starts, he starts saying things like, oh, is this loud with the people? I go, no, save it, save it. And we just sit there and I'm scared to talk in case he comes up. But, um, you did tell me a couple of little things, didn't you? True stories that, you know, that, that I mean, I enjoy. Could you tell, um, Steve about the doctor? Right. Oh, God. 
Um, What's, what, what, is this something that happened to a friend of yours or is this uh- No, no, I read about it. You read about it, okay. Um, there's this little lad, <coughs> right? Okay. First of all, it's, it's years ago, right, when right, they, didn't have, they didn't have decent doctors in like every town and that. Yeah. And, uh, this little kid is dead ill, right? Yeah. And the local doctor- <laughs> Well, there's a phone call involved, so I don't yeah, really well, give the impression it. that it's like medieval, medieval times. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, but I, I didn't say that, I just said it's years ago. Go on so on. this kid's ill, right? Yeah. And he's, uh, he's lying in the bed and, uh, he's, mm. he's all like, all going funny colour and that. Yeah. And, uh, and his mum says, I'm gonna get the local doctor around. The local doctor comes round and, uh, he says, oh, so I don't know, don't know what's up with him. He said, um, to leave it with me. Leave <laughs> 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 it with me. He well, said, the doctor uh, said that. I'll have a yeah. He said I'll um, I'll, I'll phone up uh, a top doctor. Okay. Who was in America or somewhere like that. Yeah. And uh, so he goes to the phone in his office and he calls America and because it's years ago the phone line isn't that good it's all crackly and that right. Yeah. So he's talking to the doctor and he's saying I've got this kid he's a funny colour and. Uh, you know, he's it, really weak and that. I don't yeah. know he's not him. giving him much to go on. <laughs> right? Sure. So, uh, so the American doctor, right? Yeah. He goes, yeah, what you wanna do? And it's all breaking up, right? Yeah. He goes, what you gotta do? You gotta, uh, it's all breaking up. You gotta give him some, uh, parrot's blood, right? Some parrot's blood? Well, that's what he thought he said, but the line was really bad. Yeah. He meant parents' blood, but he, he heard that he said parrots' blood. He oh said, right, I'll, I'll, I'll do that, leave I, it with I me. I can see where this is going. He goes, goes to, uh, you know, a pet shop. Okay. <laughs> he says, give us like half a dozen parrots. Sure. Text them round to the kid's house, text the blood from the parrots, puts it into the kid, kid's fine. <laughs> the kid's fine? <laughs> i never- It worked. <laughs> such a load of shite. <laughs> in my life, I've never heard <laughs> such twaddle, such uh, just made up, enhanced, exaggerated <laughs> bollocks what in my life. a load of old rubbish, I car. mean, when he told me this, he said, the doctor said, what do I do? And the doctor on the other end said, give him some blood. And the doctor went, where do I get blood from? <laughs> So hang on, wait, you, I just need to, I just need to clarify. From, from his, give him some parents' blood. Give him some parents' blood. Give him some parents, some, some parents' blood. Yeah. I, um, uh, <laughs> but hang on, I just need to know where you Sorry, read this. Sorry, Carl. Where was this, where did I you read stitched this? you up. You know when he said, he said, so do you believe it? I went, tell it to Steve. He went, do you believe it? I went, tell it to Steve. Carl. But where did you read it? it? That, that was on the internet. What, where is illnesses. it on the internet? Where, I'm what, always what looking at stuff. I was looking at stuff this morning because of, um, because <laughs> of Yora Geller last night. <laughs> <laughs> eating, uh, eating all that funny food and that. And also, uh, they all got a bit scared last night, didn't they, with a, with a snake. Mm. I didn't see that. Is this, um, I'm a celebrity getting me out of yeah, here? Yeah, yeah. He got all worried about a snake getting on the, uh, sort of wandering about in between the sleeping bags and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, they were all scared and it is so Leave easy. it with me. Sorry, the doctor says, leave it with me. <laughs> leave um, it with me. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, leave it with me. Well, they were all scared because there's a snake and it's so easy to find stuff out. Before they, before they, where are they? Where is this jungle? <laughs> Australia, right. I think. Before they went, give it half an hour on the internet. <laughs> I found out with snakes, you don't need to worry, okay. right? Um, they're deaf, they haven't got any ears. Right. So as long as you, you're really quiet, Creep it'll, around, it'll yeah. probably leave you alone. Yep. And also, they don't have eyelids. Uh huh. Um, so they were suggesting if one's coming towards you, just, like, kick sand in its eyes. Because <laughs> yeah. it can't blink and it leaves it a bit, like, annoyed yeah. and it wanders off. But they didn't do any <laughs> research before they went. Yeah. And that's- that, you're, you're, I think your knowledge would hold you in good stead. I don't think you need to know any more than you know. Um, well, we're gonna come back to that because he also explained to me where, um, uh, a saying comes from that I want to, you to be part of. But, um, Oh, and also, you should yeah. mention as well, Carl, you've come up with a, a competition, is this right? Brilliant competition. You, have you, have he you thinks this, this up? He thinks oh. this can go to television. Is this a good idea you've come up with? Yeah. Carl, I'm so looking forward to so, it. So, uh, I mean, I'm- I'm looking forward to it. Um, continuing, uh, our exposure of myths. And, and Legends of Rockfall Tale, we expose that myth that some maybe older rockers have, have had it and they've got no- they, they were never any good and the yeah. kids today- oh, I don't want to hear wanna, that. People like Rod Stewart. Rod Stewart's a great artist. This, uh, He's a slightly laughable man but a great artist. Let's go back to when it was- when it was rocking. When he cut the mustard. Yeah. Rod Stewart, you wear it well. Great tune. 
on XFM 104.9. Yeah. This doctor, I mean, we <laughs> should find out who he is, really, and if he's still practicing, because it, it worries me a little bit that he, you know, mm. he did that. Also, I mean, he thinks he's got away with it, but how could he be sure those parrots wouldn't talk? True. True. Do you know yeah, what I mean? There yeah, were six yeah. of them, they probably got together and they pro they probably put it on the internet. I mean, it, I, I feel that that story, Carl, <laughs> it, it asks more questions than it answers. <laughs> yeah! Really. Like most of your stories. Yeah, that's the problem. I always, feel them, I always feel like I need a little bit more information. Like, yeah. did the parrot boy continue to live? <laughs> yeah. You know, to a ripe old age, or did he yeah. die weeks later <laughs> after this charlatan doctor who was yeah. going around, you know, spurious and Did he break right. his nose trying to crack a big nut? Mm. No, I, th I think he's, uh, he was alright. He, he lived to a. See, I'd have shouted, if I was that doctor, I'd have shouted that down the phone. Are you sure you said parrot's blood? Yeah. You parrot's sure it was parrot's no, blood? Listen, I, I mean, uh, you know, I'm not the best doctor in the world, but d d did you say parrot's blood? <laughs> yeah, but what you're forgetting is you're going back to the time where, like, they used leeches to do, like. No, 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 we're going back to the late 70s <laughs> if there's a phone call to America direct. <laughs> Come on, Carl. They weren't calling America. Like in the medieval times or or in the Victorian age? Come on, think about it, Carl. Yeah. You know, it's, this has got to be like the, the like, you know, 30s or 40s, <laughs> the earliest. <laughs> you know? Right. I'm intrigued to know where this is. I think there's someone on the on the web who's just putting information on there to lead you astray. Yeah. Because you're the only person who finds this stuff. Other people are using this to write well, we, thesis. Why are you looking at that then? What were you, what were you looking at? I always look at weird stuff. What were yeah. you looking for? But what do you type in the search engine to find what parrot blood stories? What were you looking for? There was this woman with a weird head. <laughs> 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 Why were you looking for that? What were you Just doing? Just because I'd heard about it. I'd heard, like, someone talking about it on another station. Right. right. About this woman with a, with a funny head. Right. <laughs> I love the fact you're intrigued with these things. You go in the basement of Waterstones or Dylan's or somewhere and there's these, there's these medical books that you're loving, mate. Yeah, but this is free on the internet, isn't it? <laughs> it's all there. Yeah. So what do you typed in? Weird head woman or? <laughs> <laughs> Lady with head. <laughs> yeah. Weird, weird, weird people or something I put in. Sure. Yeah. Did you, did you come up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 7,000 uh, hits, Carl Pilkington. <laughs> But it's all there, innit? It's interesting. The one that I was telling you before about, um, the what's the name? The, the lost letter. The lost letter? What's the lost, this? uh, lost postcard that's, uh, just turned up. Some yeah. woman, uh, sent a postcard years and years ago to, to a niece or something, right? Yeah. And, and her niece was like three years old sure. back then. And just now, like, I think like yesterday or the day before, it turned up, the postcard turned up 74 years late. Seventy-four years later. It took seventy-four years. And that three-year-old girl's been living in the same house that whole time. <laughs> well, that, yeah. Sure. <laughs> There's no weird about You see about what that. I mean? There's always a question you can ask <laughs> to just scratch the credibility of these stories. Yeah. There's always, it's like the apocryphal tale. Was this the is slugs? It, was this those slugs from last week? Yeah, well, they're they holding back because they're slow because the postman slug is useless. His round takes him seventy-four years. <laughs> then he's got to go back to the beginning. He's got seventy-four years and they can't carry the bag. But that's where they go, <laughs> that's why they turn to glue. That's why they turn to glue. Oh. It's pitiful. It is pitiful. So, so you don't believe that someone sent a postcard years ago <laughs> and somehow it's been stuck in the bottom of a post bag or something and it's only just- Stuck in the bottom of a post bag? Yeah. That means that there's like an, a 95 year old postman who's still yeah. wandering around. Did, 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 did you did you have to pay like the, the difference and the charges? Uh. Because presumably the, it, it was- It a, wouldn't have had Queen Elizabeth's uh, It was, it was a penny on, black, it? presumably, was it? Yeah. <laughs> what would be on the stamp? <laughs> it would have been invalid, surely. <laughs> I don't know. That's See, these are the what. questions no, you should no, no, ask no, no, yourself. Because no. if it's the postman's fault, the post no, office can't turn Who was out. He's three dead. at the time himself, wasn't he? He was dead. No, he is dead. Yeah, he'll yeah. be well and truly dead now. Yeah. But the fact is that the post office made an error, <laughs> yeah. right? They lost this letter. Sure. Mm. It's only just turned up. They can't turn around and say, sorry about this. I hope it isn't urgent. <laughs> um, <laughs> it, it's turned up 74 years late, and by the way, you owe us 25 pence. Yeah. Yeah. They wouldn't yeah. do that, would no, they? No, that's so, true, that's true. So that's true. You you're asking questions, though, you see? That's, that's true, you see? So, t um, you, you're interested in, like, where sayings come from as well, aren't you? Because yeah. you, you told me one of the week, what, that, I don't know if Steve's aware of that. Do you want to tell Steve this one? What's this a saying? Can we do this quiz? D Let's do, do this we'll first. We'll do the quiz later. I know you're excited about the quiz. Let's do that later, but what's this saying? Right. Uh, what is the saying? Chucking a baby out with the bathwater? Yeah. 
Have you, know that, that, have you heard that phrase? Uh, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, wh wh how would you use that? Well, um, how would I use that? Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. I suppose if you've, maybe you've been discussing something, you've come up with some plans, but you're slightly worried and, um, you know, you might abandon the whole plan, whereas there might be some ideas in there which are still worth retaining. Exactly. So you don't want to ba throw the baby out with the, the bathwater. Bath there might right. be something you can just change yeah. and you don't want to, yeah. yeah. A similar, you know, there might be a few ideas you can salvage from an, an otherwise worthless one. Well, the saying, right, comes from, like, years ago again. Mm -hmm. And, um... Pre or post phone. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> Ages and ages ago when, like, you know, the bloke worked in the house, you know, he was, like, the coal man, and then you had, like... <laughs> no way, it's important. Then, then, like, the mum is, like, uh, you know, she stays at home making the dinner, looking after the kids. Yep. Mm. And, uh, and you've got, like, the little kid who's just growing up, just messing about and stuff. So, what happens is, back then they didn't have, like, fresh flowing warm water every day. Mm. So all they could do, they could only afford to have, like, um... One one full big bath of fresh water, so they'd fill up the bath, right? And then the dad would come home and he'd say, "Oh, I've had a right, you know, I had a tough day at work and that down the pit." And uh, his wife would say, "It's all right, I'm putting the dinner on. You go and have a nice warm bath." So because yeah. he because he gets to bath first because he gets to bath first because he's the grafter and he's right? covered in coal. He's covered yeah. in coal, so the water's like minging by the time he's finished. Yeah, right. And then the wife says, "Oh, after all my uh, cleaning the house and doing the cooking, I'm a bit sweating out." She's covered in dust and yeah. grime. She has I'll, the next I'll, one. I'll have a bath, right? Yeah. Yeah. At the end of the line, there's a little baby. Yeah, yeah. It's been playing out all day. Also got like little uh, little grubby knees and stuff. Needs to have a bath. <coughs> yeah, it goes in the bath. Right, but because the water is so dirty, sure, they go and empty the water out of the window. Can't <laughs> see the baby in it. <laughs> Chucking the baby out with the bath water. That's how. It, that's how it comes from. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say, Steve. Because <laughs> I heard this. I just. I'm just. I'm just. <laughs> what do you think, Steve? Steve. So. <laughs> so firstly, that 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 sort of. I mean. Oh. That doesn't explain where do you why start. Well, You're that's... struggling, aren't you? You're struggling where to start. Well, first, I can't see how we've now applied this to I've you know, been the thinking example. This, I've, I've been thinking this for days, Steve. Waiting for you to I hear mean, this one. These coal mining parents yeah. did be negligent. Yeah, I, I learned they've left their baby because, in the bath because unattended. It, that's the way round to do it. The one covered in coal. Yeah, has you go bath. first. Sure. You go first. Don't wash the baby and then get in that. Yeah. You, you, one covered in coal goes first, yeah. that's the best idea. Yeah. Second most dirty one goes second, yeah. and then the clean little baby, yeah. I think I think we should do him last, cos yeah. he's, he's done nothing well, towards no, this family. But, but more than that, Rick, leave him to his own devices. Yeah. Jack, I'm just gonna throw the water out. Yeah. In the bath. Don't check have you, first. Have you checked that the baby's down there? No, I'm not Don't even gonna bother. waste my time you'd checking. See it. You'd see it. I'd be able to see you'd a baby. You'd see a baby if in a there. If a baby was in here, yeah. I'd be able to see it. I'm yeah. just gonna throw it out. Yeah, I'm not even gonna look, to be honest, Jack. Not We've all had that bath. Look. Yeah. If the baby's in there, yeah. then it should be, be making careful, itself. Be Jack. We have lost three children this way. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Where did you read that? <laughs> New single from Supergrass. Grace on XFM 104.9. Coming up in the next hour, Carl Pilkington's new game show. He's very excited about I'm this. I'm excited. I'm excited. We don't I know anything wait. about it, but, but it's going to be dynamite. He's told me it's going to be a winner. He's, you know, he said it's going to go to television. Sure. Uh, I'd need some adverts, though. Oh, I'd love to hear some adverts. Can we have just two or three minutes of adverts, please? please. <laughs> Vines there, Steve. On XFM 104.9, I'm Ricky Gervais with me, Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. Carl's getting very excited, as we all are, about his new... Should we... Should we let him do a little taster for us. Well, I'm very excited about it. I mean, so, I, well, so the gist of it, what is it? What is it exactly? Right. Is it a game show or is it a competition? It's just, um, just thought it's something that, you know, you can play and also people at home, uh, can take part in it. Now, would they phone in about this or they can just play at home while they're listening? They can just play at home. Okay. Um. You mean we haven't got any prizes? No, there isn't. No, I, I think we, we could, we could get him to phone in, maybe. Well, I don't know. Let's hear the game idea yeah. first. Yeah. Right, it's, it's music related. Okay, good. And, um, what I do is, I sort of, uh, tell a little story. Okay. And that story makes up a song title. Alright. Well, it right. sounds ambitious. So, um... Is it a cryptic clue? Uh, could be. <laughs> uh, say, say like this, right? <laughs> oh, dearie me. <laughs> oh, dearie me. <laughs> say like this. Right. This, this woman, right, she's <laughs> pregnant. You know the answer to this one, so don't be saying anything. This okay. is just aimed at Steve. Okay. Right. This woman has a baby. Yeah. She's pregnant, has a baby. And the doctor's there in the, uh, in the hospital going, oh yeah, you've got a, got a lovely little baby oh, here. Oh, you told me that this is... 
Oh, this guy. Got a lovely little baby. Me. Um, it's just coming out now. You'll be able to see it in a minute. <laughs> and, uh, it's like covered in gunk and stuff. Yeah. And, uh, he's going, yeah, it's nearly here. It's coming out. I see, see it's a little head and that. And, um, he gets hold of it and it's full of all this gunk. Right? The baby's full of gunk. Yeah, like the Covered arm. in gunk or full of gunk? Covered in it. Right. And he goes, uh, here you go. Get hold of your baby. And he drops it. Right. What's, what song's that? There's so much irrelevance there, Steve. I can't tell you. It's not a cryptic clue. It's not a cryptic clue. Cause only, uh, I mean, the gist of it is that, relevant. That isn't the best one. That's just- Right. I mean, there is just, there's, there's things there that you were pro pro dwelling on and thinking of puns. Don't. Just go for gut instinct. What was it? What was that? Right, let me just, I just need to try and get the basics of this. There's a woman, she's pregnant, she has a baby. Yeah. The baby's covered in gunk. Yeah. Right. And because of the gunk, the doctor drops the baby. Yeah. yeah. And that's all I need to know. Yeah, that is all you need to know. Yeah, the um, pregnancy is largely irrelevant. <laughs> okay, what it's, are the what are the, the key birth, elements? It's the birth and the doctor dropping it that the irrelevant. The, the, the irrelevant birth thing. and the dropping of the baby. Yeah. Uh, I've n I've absolutely no idea. I can't okay, even begin think, to guess. Think about what's happened there. Oh, Carl, She's had a baby. The doctor's. Try to deliver it. He's saying it's a nice little baby you've got here. This is all irrelevant. <laughs> this is all irrelevant. Right, let me tell you this. So, so, so just to be fair to Steve, so he gets, he can get into your mind, right? This is not a traditional cryptic clue, <laughs> okay. logical problem or whatever. This is, this is Carl, what song am I thinking of, right? <laughs> right. That is Underworld, Born Slippy. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, actually, that makes textbook sense. Yeah. No, that does yeah. actually- No, do you I'm like sorry. The, do you like all the story about the- 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 <laughs> goes, oh, you can see it in them and they're always just covered in gunk. Yeah. No, I agree there is some extraneous detail, yeah, but okay. I have to say- Yeah. That- Born was good, cause it was- th that's what- that's the look of it, was yeah. Born was good, yeah. And I Born Slippy- I- uh, no, I'm actually, I was quite impressed by that, Carl. I have to say, no, to be fair to you, I'm not just patronising you. Oh, well, I've got, oh, um, wow. I actually think that was really good, and I, I, I disrespect Ricky Gervais for slamming okay, that off, because okay. I actually think that that was quite well, good. Well, let's go ahead with it, then. I, I, <laughs> on your I idea. feel we could, we could maybe open this up to, uh, to email correspondence, or, Okay, uh, or let's go for it, then. Okay, this is Carl Pilkington's <laughs> new game show idea. It's what, it's, it's, uh, It's just what's the song. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, <laughs> Carl Pilkington presents What's the Song? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Mr. Carl Pilkington. Yeah. Okay, well, what's right, the song? Well, let's, I'll tell you what, let's play a record. Let's, let's come well, back after that. Give out the number if ready for him. Well, uh, you should make a note of this. Uh, you can email us. The email's up and running. Ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Uh, what's the phone number, Carl? Have you it's 08700 800 1234. Okay. 08700 800 one, two, three, four. Make a note of that and we'll, uh, we'll have a game of, uh, what song is Carl thinking of after this next track? What do you want to play? What have um, you got lined up there? Oh, oh, continuing, uh, again, I've got, uh, old fogies who were good once and I Absolutely. won't hear a thing said against the new kids <laughs> yeah. out there. It's not all new metal, is it? True enough. This is, uh, Cat Stevens, uh, a, a little known album, Mona Bone Jack On, and this one's called Trouble. It's a lovely mm. song. Cat Stevens, Trouble, from Mona Bone Jack On. Uh, on XFM 104.9, playing some new songs, playing some old songs. True enough, true enough. Playing some old games, some chit chat, some tears, some laughter, and true. Carl Pilkington with his brand new show, What's <laughs> the Song? What song am I thinking now, of? No, I, I'm, I, I mean, you're nervous about this, aren't you, Rick? I am. You're worried. Well, because I've heard some of these clues before. I and they're, they're ramblings, they're sometimes they're close to ramblings <laughs> of a fool. <laughs> <laughs> right? And it really is like those, what am I thinking? Yeah. Um. I don't know though, I actually was genuinely impressed by Born Slippy. I, I, I have to give him the benefit That's of the That's one of the better though. ones. Cause I, I, Cause know. that was short, sweet, and it worked. <laughs> Some of these that you say they're not gonna be quite as pissy. Some of them are like Emily Bronte novels. <laughs> um, now listen. We're just gonna go for it then. You do it and we'll just get people to call up. Cause I, I want, I wanna see the general public's confusion Absolutely. trying to work out a well, why don't we, uh, why don't we, why don't you give us your, your next clue <sighs> and then we'll play a track and then we'll, we'll hopefully have people on the line after the track right. to try and answer it and you can recap briefly. So give us your clue now for, uh, what song am I thinking of? Right, this one, um, it's about a woman and, um, she's just normal, nothing wrong with her, <laughs> or, or so she thinks, right? <laughs> <laughs> but there's the twist. <laughs> Is this like the Tales of the Unexpected? And she's got like, you know, she's got a mates and she's having a normal life, having a good time and that. And then this thing happens, right? And, uh, she starts to stink. <laughs> and she can't have a bath, right? And she really wants to have a bath. She's dead sweaty and stuff. She's trying to, she's going about her daily stuff. She can do everything else normal. She can eat, she can talk, everything. But for some reason, 
<laughs> she can't have a bath. Is there a coal mining husband in the bath? <laughs> yeah. Is this born stinky? <laughs> She can't have a bath. So a woman can't have a bath. Yeah. Is or that it, or a shower. She can't. <laughs> okay, and leave it there, Rick. Don't try and guess. It's not okay. for us to guess. Um, the general public can phone up and ask questions. So I just just I'm go not for sure it. I think they can. Can they? I don't. Think I think so. Otherwise, we don't want just people just um, phoning well, up let's and getting well, it. What about this? Why don't they can ask one question? Yeah. They can ask one question of Carl. Then they have to make a guess. Okay. Oh eight seven hundred. 800 one, two, Have we got three, someone four. on the line now? Well, we'll just go no, let's do it. Let's, let's go, go for one. Let's go for one. This is edge, edgy radio. This is letting Carl stuff. Right. live. Hello. Go on. Hello, XFM. Hello. I'm ringing about, um, what's the song? Absolutely. What do you think? Well, I'm going for Dirty Diana. Dirty Diana. See, that works. That's a great guess. It does, yeah, but it doesn't work because why can't she have a bath? <laughs> okay, so well, the answer is in there. I was going to ask you. Well, well that's your that, one question. That'd be the answer. That would be the answer, I'm afraid. What was your name? Shelley. Shelley, thanks very much. Shelley, I should, I should tell you that, you know, that you should never take this personally because no one can really get into the mind of Carl, <laughs> so don't, don't, you know, beat yourself up about this. I don't expect anyone to get these clues. No. So, um, so well done. That a is guess. a fine guess. A Thank, you. Guess. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Anyone else there? That's, that's, uh, hello, XFM. Who's that on the line? Um, it's Chris. Hello, Chris. Uh, a question for Carl? Um, Before you I give us a have, guess? Like, uh, I haven't thought of a really good question or anything yet. You just want to go for the guess? Well, no, what I thought was, um, I'm sure Simon Mayo used to do this when he did the breakfast show <laughs> on Radio 1 years ago. No, he didn't. <laughs> so you've just you pinched this idea, Carl. If you're going to gonna rip school. someone off, Carl, do not rip off Simon Mayo. I haven't ripped this off. I thought this was a new idea. I was going to do it with sound effects instead, but that's Yeah, a, that's he used to do that and he used to get his team to play other characters. And you the idiot. Well, no, hang on. Not you, not you, Chris. I'm, yeah. I'm saying you idiot to Carl. Yeah, but nothing's new anyway, is it? So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not getting annoyed about it. <laughs> what do you think the answer is? <laughs> um, is it Cornflake Girl by Tori Amos? Good answer. She couldn't have a bath because she'd go all she floppy, floppy and, and then go down the plate. <laughs> Good answer. She'd so, go all soggy. Yeah. So it's not, is it Cornflake Girl? No, it's not, but that's, that's a uh, great answer. It could have been. <laughs> 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 okay. You're already seeing the error of this, aren't you? I think this like, is great radio. I'm I know. really hooked on this. I'm but genuinely this, excited. This now. is really like that. Um, uh, those uh, so-called lateral thinkers. A man got into a field and dies. Why? <laughs> yeah. Um, he ran out of air. No, <laughs> yeah. not the one I'm thinking he was of. He shot. Well, no, but, yeah. That was God. a good answer. Well, but like Simon Mayo, like sue you or something for doing it. Will you night? stop? Don't mention that. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Listen, I think if you're going to steal ideas from someone, it should be a brain box like Mayo. <laughs> I mean, he's the man yeah, The only for. example of one I can ever remember here on his show, because I was quite young then, was, um, some people were pretending to, like, tap someone's phone or something, and then they got caught, and the answer was just bugging by whistle, because they were... Genius. Uh, yeah. That was absolute genius. That's yeah. absolute genius. See, so Carl, that's Carl's the sort of standard you've got to come up against. Yeah. Uh, thanks very much, Chris. No the phone lines are hot. Hello, oh, XFM. <laughs> Hi, is it Candy Perfume Girl? Is it what? Candy Perfume Girl. Candy Perfume Girl? Yeah. Ca candy Perfume Girl. Is it- well, who's that by? Madonna. No, it's- That sounds like an obscure album track. No, it's, it's not it's one of their- one of her songs. Just well, think about it. it. She- she stinks and everything. She's a normal life. She's- I didn't say she was a sweet or anything. Um, <laughs> but she, for some reason she can't have a bath or is a shower. Is this a big song, just to give him a clue? Is it's this a- it's a bigger song than, uh, Candy Sweet Girl. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed for your guess. It clearly is <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. Sorry. Okay. One, one more, then we go yeah. to a record. Come right. on. Okay. Go on. Hello, XFM. <laughs> Carl. Yeah. Is it high and dry by Radiohead? High and dry. High and dry. Now that's great. She smells, which is another word for high. She's dry because she doesn't have a shower. Carl, if it isn't that, <laughs> yours will never be as good as that. He's the winner. <laughs> Whatever you're thinking of, that clue is brilliant. What's your name, mate? It's Richie. Richard. Richard. Uh, I mean, you can't beat that. That's a bit too lateral. Don't be stupid. <laughs> it's perfect. He's made yours into a clever clue. He's made high. She smells dry. She never gets in the bath or shower. It's mm. not that, is it, Carl? No, it's you not. You don't even get that, do you? Not have really. You ever, <laughs> have you ever heard of the word high being used to mean sort of smelly? No, no, no. Oh, what? <laughs> well, that was where you went wrong, there, mate. <laughs> Richard, um, well, I'm declaring you the winner, even though that isn't the answer. I don't think Thank we you. should give up this earlier. Can we just uh, can, let's play a song and, let's play and a song. Give, it, give it one more chance? Because yeah. if people think about it, it is really easy. So, I'm not going to find out the answer though, because I've got to go out. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll do it very quickly. Stay in for ten minutes. We're just going to play a new uh, okay. Coldplay track. Aren't okay, we? let's play Coldplay and then Cheers. we'll come back with this. Coldplay, one I love. That's for um, Nick, Neil, Olivia. 
in uh, Tower Bridge. Absolutely. And also Nikki from Bromley who emailed in. She's enjoying the show and she, uh, she wanted a bit of Coldplay. That's the B-side of the current single. This is a great show, isn't it? We've got great music. We've got music. laughs, tears. We've got requests. We've got Simon Mayo games. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. a bit, it's just, it's just like Radio 1 for <laughs> exactly. less people. <laughs> exactly. Radio 1 for less people. Yeah. <laughs> this is great, isn't um, it? So, so, go on, so listen, Kai, you were so excited about this game, weren't you, earlier? You, ca you came in with a hop, skip, and a leap in your, in your step. Although, I must say, the phones are going mental. We're gonna have to take this some more calls. No, people I mean, call. high and dry is great. I mean, it works. <laughs> That's it. Can we have a very quick- Just uh, a recap in case someone's yeah. just- Yeah, quick Can recap. you make it- can you make it so- High and dry doesn't work now. Give us a bit of information that makes it different to high and dry, or can't. So for those that just that? tuned in, Carl describes in a roundabout way a story which somehow is representative of a song. Is a that song right? title? A song title. Yeah. Okay. So um, this woman, she's 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 all right. You know, she has a normal life. <laughs> Pretty much. Kind of. Yep. Um, there's probably a few things actually that she can't do. Thinking about it. <laughs> 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 but. <laughs> The main problem would be having a, <laughs> having a wash or having a bath or having a shower. Yeah. Maybe going for a swim, thinking about it. <laughs> right. Oh, that's, that's I think water is the clue, isn't it? That's the clue. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's a fair uh, who's that on the line? Hi there, it's Mark. Hello, Mark. Hi, Mark. Right, what do you think? It smells like Teen Spirit, Nirvana. No, it's not. That's a great guess. Smells like Teen Spirit again. It's also no. brilliant. Thank you, Mark. Well no, done. No, it's not that. All right. Hello, XFM. Oh, that's that's oh. that's a dodgy mobile. Oh, that's a bit of a clue. A dodgy Hello, mobile. XFM. Oh, oh, they've just given up. They, they've all been going for smells like Teen Spirit. Yeah. They just hung up. Hello, XFM. Uh, hi. Is it um, she's electric? Excellent. She's electric. It makes sense. That's uh, fantastic. Oh, Carl. she's electric. Why does she smell? Because she doesn't have a bath on that. Because she can't have a bath or a shower. What's what's your name? Neil. Neil. So does that so. Oh. Neil got it. God. So, did you get it straight away? Uh, no, only, uh, during the song. A process of elimination from all the other wrong answers. Yeah, basically. So, she's electric. Rick, I have to say, you, you're holding your head in hand, in oh. your hands, and it looks like you want to shoot off. But I have to say, I thought that was quite good. I genuinely thought that was quite good. But it's not a cryptic clue, is it? Cos it's not she smells, there's a few things you can't do, she's electric. Yeah, but do you understand what, what I'm getting at? <laughs> She's electric. <laughs> I always understand what you're getting at, Carl. That's never been a problem in the, you know, the years I've known you. Neil got it. Yeah. She's I electric. have to say, Rick, I think you're down on this idea. I could definitely see that. ITV1 replacing Get I'm um, a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. Carl Pilkington hosting. Simon Mayo yeah. on the phone. <laughs> exactly. To the lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well, Neil, there's no prizes or anything, but well done. Uh -huh. Well done, that was well worth it. Right. Well, you go away with the award in the knowledge that you've beaten Carl. Yeah. You can secure the knowledge that you thought <laughs> how Carl does. <laughs> Absolutely. Well done, Neil. Okay. I have to say, I, I think you're being harsh on him. I think that's, okay. a, that's a great game. Alright, let's do it again next week then. I thought that was a great game. Yeah. Brilliant. Well play, done, record. Carl. play record. Play uh, record. Uh, what do you want to play? Oh, you know, I tell you, uh, we've been playing some oldies, Rick, and I've enjoyed them all, but I think I've been in love with this song for many, many years, and when I saw it, reminded of it in Con Air, the film Con Air, remember they stick it on in Con Air, and it's just dynamite. It's Leonard Skinner. I, I love this. Sweet Home Alabama oh, play. Turn this up. Uh, this uh, one uh, 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 Sweet Home Alabama. <laughs> Leonard Skinner. Yeah. Strange and beautiful. Aqualung. Or as Carl says, Aqualung. On XFM 104.9. Well, it seems that Carl's clue, um, you know, did go down quite well. Some other people got it. Uh, the game show as a whole has been well received. Well, I have to say, the, uh, the email, you know, we've had, we've had loads of emails, Rick. Yeah. You know, I mean, we've had, uh, let me just count two. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, and, uh, one of them was aimed at uh, Simon Mayo. They <laughs> <laughs> came to us by mistake. Uh, they yeah, thought they were listening to Mayo. Yeah. And the yeah. other is, uh, saying Carl, they love the game show. Radio One with less people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, wow. And, uh, so despite the fact it was a stolen idea, I think we yeah. can do it again next week. Just and like next week, let's, let's rustle up some prizes as well. You're just like your little magpie, aren't you? Thieving shiny <laughs> ideas. <laughs> from Mayo's nest. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, uh, so We played Lyndon Skinner just before the ads, and I was just looking at the compilation it comes from. It's a great compilation. We took this from, uh, Driving Rock. Yeah. Uh, which I imagine- This is not available in the shops. <laughs> exactly. Um, I imagine it's come straight from the personal collection of, uh, maybe Tarrant or, uh, Foxy. Or Canfield. But there's some great names on here that I'd like to see. Maybe we could play them. He's a little Vance, isn't he? He's a <laughs> tiny Vance. Exactly. You know, you're a little Mayo. Canfield's a little Vance. 
I mean, these are some names. She just Go don't- on. I haven't heard them for a long time. Go I'd on. love to hear them again. Go Alana on. Miles. Mm. Black Velvet. No, rubbish. Rhea. You don't hear Rhea enough. Chris, Chris Rhea. Rhea. Yeah. Well, what one? Spin Doctors. Oh, God. Lest we forget the Spin Doctors. God. Crash Test Dummies. Mm. What happened mm. to them? Don't know. Uh, who else we got on here? Richard Marks. Yeah. Mr. Big. I didn't- he's guilty in that song when he goes, I swear I did, and all that, and the police came round, well there's no smoke without fire, I reckon he did it. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> yeah. I reckon he- I reckon he murdered her. You're absolutely right. Go on. Legs, ZZ Top. <laughs> She knows how to use them. <laughs> she does she indeed. knows how to- it's what it is, it's electrical impulse from the brain. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, what, how is she using them? What's she's she just, she's just, um, it's, you know- The brothers do beer on her as well. Oh, isn't that- nothing wrong with them? No, absolutely not. Starship. Yeah. And, uh, Toto as well. Oh, what I forgot. Really it's not actually. What is it? Can you name another Toto track? Hold the line. It's hold the line. Let's Sorry. rock! Put that <laughs> on! <laughs> it's a good, it's a good stuff. down! Uh, 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 <laughs> ow. Ow. Is it it's good stuff? When session musicians get together. <laughs> oh, we Can got we hear a quick little blast? Oh, it should be. On. Is that is that disc oh, still? Oh, play in a little bit. Hold the line. It's that great. Should be, uh, that should be track. Uh, oh, let me see. No. That's probably track ten. I hope this doesn't annoy too many people. <laughs> like we're worried. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. We like to give our radio slick. <laughs> is this um, it? This is like it. Yeah. Wake up a minute. We yeah. playing, uh, that was dynamite. That was great. We'll have some. I think we should have like a classic rock anthem every week. I'd, oh, do you not I'd, think? I'd, I mean, I'd love to. I'd love to. Bit of Rainbow maybe next week. Oh, Who knows? Man alive! Phone in if you want to hear some classic rock. <laughs> classic rock, indeed. Oh, we ripped off Mayo. Let's do Vance. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's just uh, steal ideas from other better DJs. Okay. Um. Oh, what? What? Can we we have? There's some great ideas out there. I'm sure. I, I mean, if you if you want to like any fix, it's done. <laughs> if you may want to eat a yeah. packed lunch on a roller coaster. On a roller coaster, yeah, with some Boy Scouts or or. or Dance with Banana Rama. Yeah. Then, then yeah. we're, we're, yeah. we're yeah. Or Five Star. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love the fact Five Star <laughs> reform. There's three of them. <laughs> Have you heard about this? <laughs> no. Oh. White Stripes on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais, with me Steve Merchant, Hello. and Carl Pilkington. Well, I had a good time. I've enjoyed it, yeah, it's been nice. It's some, been fun. Some good tracks, some, some laughs, a new, uh, competition by yep. Simon Mayo. <laughs> <laughs> That was, uh, <laughs> Absolutely. That was great. Yeah. Yeah. Carl, Carl, have you heard, um, the big news? That, uh, Ricky Gervais is, uh, looking to take up, um, well, you explain it, Gervais, because oh, I'm not- Oh, it's not big not, news. No, I, What are you talking- what do you mean? You, 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 you want- you're taking up boxing, is this right? N no. What is uh, the story? You want to- right. you're fighting for money? No! What, <laughs> just- oh, yeah, bare knuckle fighting. No, come on, what is it? No, all- all it is, I've been watching this, um, show, on cable called Born to Fight, and it's sort of, sort of right. late. It's a late one. <laughs> we flick around, and, and I think it's uh, on the After Roadies, which is like. Roadies? A, yeah, it's a bloke, one bloke with a camera who goes on tour with different people. Like, he went on with Motorhead, he went with, uh, with a meatloaf um, uh, uh, tribute act, he went on with Coldplay, was in one of them. It's just that, and it's the is sort this of this when, like, all the other channels have been switched off. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah exactly, yeah. And there's one uh, called Born to Fight, and uh, they just uh, take a different story. It might be like, an amateur fight, or it might be um, an unlicensed fight, not illegal, yeah. um, or it might be white collar, which I'm thinking of doing. What's what's white collar? White collar is just people who want to fight, and uh, it's organised. Is it like a club? Yes, yeah, but it's charity. It, it's safe. It's, it's it's a charity do you know, having like, big events, and it's just two people that you know aren't boxers, aren't amateur boxers, and they get in the ring and they do three three um, two minute rounds, and they just lay into each other. They've got head guards on, and uh, Rick, I don't mean to alarm you, but um, you know we work together obviously, and, and we make the office and stuff. Your face is my fortune. <laughs> I can't that, have that it. That must being, be a bit of a worry for you. It is. I'm not going to say. Well, your heart as well is also a concern. Yeah. You know, and you're eating and stuff. But so when I said well, I was, no, was, was going to get fit, you were going, no, Gervais, you're only funny because you're fat. No, I agree. This is true. But I'm saying there's a there's a difference between being fit. Yeah. And um, and I would say, Getting for instance, don't eat. In. Well, don't eat. Um, don't eat. Kind of, you know, uh, cheese and bacon. You know, <laughs> on their own <laughs> all day, all day, all right. for breakfast. So what I'm saying is, there's yeah. a difference between you know exercising and then having yeah. your face beaten in. And what I'm saying is that you, it, I just don't think it's a good idea. But I might win. No, the pro- well, I don't- you, that's- that's- that's irrelevant. You're still gonna get- take a couple of blows to the face. And the point is this, Rick, you're not gonna win. Why? Because- no, because you are delusional. You think that you are probably the world's greatest boxer. <laughs> you are, I know- ever since I've known you, you seem to think that it's the case, because you've watched all the Rocky films. <laughs> And you think that's fair enough? That seems straightforward enough. <laughs> but look at your physique. You know, yeah, you've got some upper body strength, but yeah. you know, you've also got some upper, some <laughs> lower belly strength as well. I noticed. And um, <laughs> and my concern is, you're going to go in there, and you're not only going to be a broken man when you realise that you're just not as handy in the ring as you thought you were. Yeah. But also, you're going to you're going to incur some injuries. This you is wear fighting masks? talk. 
This is fighting talk. The first man the fight club is don't this, talk about fight club. This reminds me I want to do it more now, just because of you. It was the same when Adrian didn't agree that Rocky could beat right. Clubber yeah. Lang. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she, she made that mistake, then she made the same mistake at with, what with age, Drago. Rick? At what age? She turns up at the end to take a bit of the credit, didn't she? When you were this kind of thin, nimble youth and yeah. your makeup and your eyeliner and all the rest of yeah. it, you, I bet you had no idea, you had no thoughts about boxing. It never came into your mind, did it? So at what age did you suddenly think, wait a minute, I've taken the wrong path in life. I could have been the world <laughs> I heavyweight. Don't, I don't think I could. When are you, when have you suddenly decided that you can, you, you can suddenly be a bit street tough? I don't understand why this has suddenly come about in Well, I'm not in putting out life. a shout, am I, to fight people? It's not, I've not, it's not like Noel but Gallagher you've got and Robbie Williams. But you've got to find someone else, presumably, to fight with. Yeah, but it'd probably be a businessman who wants to fight. Right. Do you know there's something really weird about that? Don't you think that sound- have you- just listen to yourself, I want to fight another bi- I want to fight a businessman. <laughs> no, Please may I fight a businessman. I don't want to fight a businessman! <laughs> you just, you just I wa- said- I want to fight someone who wants to- it's, you know, I mean, it's not- I want to fight them though! <laughs> I want to fight somebody! <laughs> Since you were like, it sounds a bit mad, Bring yeah. them on, I want to fight people! No, but it's more the- it's more the effort and the training and the commitment to it, like climbing a mountain. I mean, I think climbing a mountain and doing a marathon is ridiculously macho. It's not the fact that you can no, do it No, that's not go, macho, compared with macho, isn't it? Climbing, there's no reason to climb a mountain, there's no reason to do a marathon. If you can run a mile, that's all you need. The fact that you train is to whether you can do it yourself and achieve something. And this is more <coughs> like the training and the learning uh, skill and then seeing if it works. I, I don't want to get in there to- But I aren't you concerned about you might get beaten? Or you might get beaten up, I should say. No! What's the worst that can happen? Uh, it was You'll a, get black eyes, bruises and you- Wait, bruises- bruises- <laughs> Jamie, so let me just remind you of the what? time we were working in your flat, <laughs> right? <laughs> and you immediately- <laughs> Right, I think- I don't know to this day what happened, but you started choking, you clasped your chest, you were breathing, wheezing, right, I leapt over to you, I remember screaming, I don't know the Heimlich manoeuvre, yeah. if you've swallowed something I can't help, yeah. you gained your breath, you gained your composure, yeah, I said, yeah. what happened, did you eat something, did you go down the wrong way, you said, no, I swallowed some dust. I swallowed some dust. You breathed some dust in that was in the air, there was some dust in the air, you breathed that in, it knocked you out for two days. Rick, you're in bed for two yeah, days. I love that. I don't I, think you- I don't I think you're the man for the job. And that's some dust. What do you think this businessman's gonna do? Exactly. He'll be permanent. Hide your appointment. Yeah. He'll hurt your appointment. You found a lump, didn't you, on your testicle once? We sat <laughs> in a uh, doctor's waiting room, I remember, for about 45 you got, minutes. You got- I haven't checked out, it was fine. I think I went twice, didn't my I? Point, yeah, I point. said to the doctor at one point, I said, did you check round the back? Yeah. I was thinking he hadn't checked it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, dear. My, just because I hadn't found anything. My point is this. Oh. You're something of hypochondriac. You know <laughs> you're something of hypochondriac. <laughs> you know that already. So. Uh, why do you think this is gonna be any different? Wow. If you take a- when you take the first blow to the head, you take the punch, you'll immediately think that you've got some kind of, you know, brain disorder. No, I've always- and you'll be I've done always wanted to do it, but I just thought- I just- talent. I wanted to make sure, I wanted to know that I definitely lost my looks. Right. And, um, I've seen some of the publicity shots, I've got mirrors and mouths, so now- because I've definitely lost my looks now, I've got nothing to lose. Yeah. So I want, you know, maybe a younger, more handsome man, I wanna teach him a <laughs> lesson. <laughs> Let me just- I'll end with this. <laughs> right. For people who listen to this show regularly, <laughs> yeah. you already sound like you're punch drunk. <laughs> All right, and that's just your natural way of talking. Please, let's not do the real thing. <laughs> oh, play a record. Oh, I mean, is it going to be televised? Uh, it, well, we could get it on DVD, maybe release All right, it. Now I'm interested. Okay, <laughs> is there money to be made? Yeah, lots of oh, money. Well, maybe we should talk about it. Okay. Pipes. On XFM 104.9. You join us now live at, uh, Shippy Old People's Home, <laughs> where, uh, TV star Ricky Gervais <laughs> is taking on his first, uh, non-professional bout. Yeah. Um, Ricky, who are you fighting this evening? Uh, a bloke called Pete Smedley. <laughs> okay, Pete Smedley. How old is Pete? He's 72. <laughs> 72 years yeah, old. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, uh, yeah. you're very excited about the fight, I know. Yeah, he's, yeah, uh, yeah, Pete's yeah. just recovered from a massive coronary, hasn't he? Well, I don't want to get into that. He, he's <laughs> deemed himself fit, and, okay. uh, that's, that's good enough for me. <laughs> If he, if he wants to fight. Listen, right, someone just called up and said, uh, they're fighting me. He's sounded this is such pretty, a bad idea. pretty tasty. I said, how, how tall are you? He said, five foot eleven. I said, what do you weigh? He said, thirteen stone. I said, how old are you? Twenty-seven. Mm. I explained to him I'm looking for someone a lot older and smaller. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. A lot, lot older and smaller than Donna Stell. <laughs> If Donna yeah. Stell from, uh, what's it? <laughs> it ain't I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you now, Steve. Listen, no, yeah. it's just a sport. You know, mm. they go, oh, don't go into badminton, a shuttlecock can hurt your eye. <laughs> it's just a sport. Okay, fair enough. Well, we'll, 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 I'm sure we'll resume this conversation next week. Yeah. When, of course, we'll also be playing more of uh, Carl's new brilliant game with prizes, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Simon Mayo's What Is Carl <laughs> Thinking? <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I, I'll leave you with a song for, uh, the ladies, Rick, if I may. Yeah. Uh, this is by, my, my friend, uh, Harry, you may know, he sends me tr uh, tracks every so often that I should yeah. listen to, and uh, this is a particular 
particular favourite of mine. Pretty Please, in, it's by Kevin Tahista's Red Terror. I don't know if I've pronounced that right. But enjoy that and we'll uh, see you next week. Let's get ready to rumble. Mm. <laughs> Coldplay and In My Place on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais. With me, Steve Merchant. Hello, Hello there. Hello, lovely to be here. Carl Pilgrim's in there, pressing the buttons. Great to be here. Yeah. How long can you maintain it? I'm bored already. already. Yeah, already bored of doing bored that. Bored already. Every week you start it the same way. Yeah. That was not bad though. You actually grammatically made sense. Which is really? uh, impressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks so very much. A rare treat indeed from yeah. the base. Um, some of the, uh, listeners have already worked out, uh, got nothing to say at all. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Haven't prepared again. No. We were, we, we did come in half hour early to repair, but instead me and Carl were playing, you had to flick the football into the bin, right. we had five goes each, or the world was gonna end. Okay. And that, that took up- That took up a good twenty-five minutes. Yeah. I liked it when we came back and then we started just trying to beat each other in the corridor and I beat him, I scored a goal, he, he was gutted cause he thought he, he fancied himself at football and I beat him. Um, mm. and I was knackered and sweating. Yeah. Um, and uh, as I walked back to you about five minutes ago, you were looking through the records, you went, and this was lovely, you went, <sighs> Well, we've done the preparation then. Uh, yeah. Like a sarcastic 